of you, Helene. I shall be counting the hours. Twelve o'clock on Friday night. Nearly six full days from this minute. The coach will be waiting on the other side of the lake and we'll be across the border by dawn. Oh, it seems too good to hope for. Tell me that nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong, my dearest love. Till Friday night. Oh, it will be an eternity of waiting. But worth waiting for. Goodbye, my love. Not goodbye. Au revoir. Captain Hess, tell me it's all right. No hitch at all, Excellency. Excellent. Excellent, Hess. If you knew what a load this is off my mind. Is he hurt? Only temporarily. We have a slight headache when he wakes up. He'll have more than a headache when he finds himself in a Warburg dungeon. You're a good man, Hess. An excellent man. Did he have any identification? He hasn't now. This ring, Excellency, we found on a chain around his neck. Curious, isn't it? A common thief is caught in the palace grounds, and what do we find? A ring bearing the crest of the Royal House of France. One might almost be led to believe that the sneak thief was Ferdinand, Duke of Orleans, heir to the throne of France. One might indeed, Excellency. <laughs> Your Majesty. I knew you wouldn't fail me, Edmund. Your Majesty's slightest wish is my command. But I cannot command you in a matter as delicate as this one. It concerns my son, Ferdinand. He's gone to Mecklenburg, incognito, of course, and secretly. There is no secret about your son's love for Princess Hélène. All of France knows it. All of Europe knows it. That's what alarms me. Seeing that Hélène is betrothed to the Crown Prince of Prussia, so Ferdinand has gone to Mecklenburg to change her mind before the marriage contract is signed. That's exactly what the poor, desperate boy has done. But Helene isn't allowed to have a mind, you know that. Prussia wants this marriage, needs it. And there are statesmen in Prussia and Mecklenburg who will stop at nothing to ensure the union between the two countries. I agree, Your Majesty. Yet my foolish son has traveled alone, secretly, without even the power of his name to protect him. If any harm should come to the Duke of Orleans, he would mean war. No one in Mecklenburg would risk that. If any harm comes to the Duke of Orleans, yes. But Ferdinand has gone there as a private individual. He could disappear. France cannot guarantee his safety. We would never even have proof that he went to Mecklenburg. Oh, Edmund. Edmund, he must be brought back. He must be stopped before his impetuosity costs him his life. Then with your permission, Your Majesty, I will leave for Mecklenburg within the hour. I said I cannot command you, Edmund. I can only entreat an old friend to aid a distraught mother. A plea mightier than any command, Your Majesty. But there could be danger for you also. The Duke of Orleans risks his life for love. Shouldn't I be allowed to do as much? Thank you, my friend. My prayers go with you. My dear lady. But be careful, so careful. The only outsiders welcomed by the Regent of Mecklenburg, Baron Reimer, are Prussians. Thank you for the warning. Perhaps I should make sure that the Regent of Mecklenburg is not disappointed. I said I was not to be disturbed. A thousand pardons, Your Excellency, but... Already? Well, by all means, show him in. Will you enter, please? His Excellency, Count von Nyberg. Special emissary from His Royal Highness, Frederick William, Crown Prince of Prussia. 
My dear Count von Nyberg, this is an unexpected pleasure. I'd received no word that you were coming. I must apologize for the impatience of Crown Prince Frederick William. He's eagerly concerned over his forthcoming marriage to Princess Helene. Ah, these lovers. Yes. May I present my aides? Colonel from Rikoberg of the Prussian Guards. A pleasure, Your Excellency. And Major von Jakobstein of the Imperial Hussars. Gentlemen, you are very welcome. You may go, yes. And now, Count. Your Excellency, Crown Prince Frederick William is most disturbed. Disturbed? Oh, yes, the marriage contract, of course. I have it here. I was not going to speak of that yet, but since you mention it, what about the contract? My dear Count, the Princess has been under a severe strain. She's only delayed signing the contract because, well, because... Because of the Duke of Orleans. The Duke of Orleans? Our secret agents brought us a report. The Duke of Orleans is in Mecklenburg. You can imagine how upset His Royal Highness became upon learning this news. But as Regent of Mecklenburg, let me assure you there is no need for concern. Prince Frederick William sees every need. Then His Highness is mistaken. But names can be dangerous things. Then why use them? You're an astute man, Count. Very well, no names. Gentlemen, five nights ago a sneak thief was caught descending from Princess Elaine's window. The man is now a prisoner in the Warburg dungeon. Then execute him. Why do you hesitate? May I say that you're as ruthless as you're astute? I only have the interests of the Crown Prince at heart. Quite rightly, Count. But there could be a complication. You mean the Princess knows that this man is in your hands? Not at all. In fact, from information received from our secret agents, the Princess was expecting a further visit from him tonight at midnight. It seems that the thief intended to steal the Princess herself from right under our very noses. A very impetuous thief, Your Excellency. Very, Count. But you do see the difficulty. If the Princess learns that this criminal has been disposed of, she might refuse to sign the marriage contract. I do not see the difficulty, Baron. On the contrary, if the Princess has true regard for this man, she may be only too glad to accommodate us in return for his freedom. You mean enter into an agreement with her? My dear Baron, if the Princess knew of her lover's danger, believe me, she would sign that contract. What happens to the uh, sneak thief after that is no concern of Prince Frederick William. Firing squad, eh? Hanging is simpler. Not to say quieter. Yes, yes, I follow. Dispose of him, anyway. If you care to leave this matter in my hands, it may save Your Excellency the pains of conscience. You're a remarkable man, Count von Neiberg. Prince Frederick William has often remarked on the fact. Very well. Hess? Captain Hess, we've decided that a certain nameless sneak thief shall be hanged in the palace stable yard. The execution will take place under the direction of Count von Nyberg at a time that he will nominate. Tonight, Count? Don't ask questions, Captain. Just stand by for orders. Yes, Excellency. And now, if we have agreed on our approach to Princess Helene, shouldn't we see her? Quite right. There's no time like the present. None, sir. Colonel, Major, wait for me in our quarters. Only five more hours. In five hours, he'll be here. Everything will be all right. It's got to be. I'm only worried about how little baggage your highness is taking. And what will be your honeymoon, too? My honeymoon? Oh, Julia, I love him so much, I think I could die for him. I'm sure he would prefer to have you live for him, your highness. I will, Julia. Nothing must go wrong. Baron Reimer wishes to see you, Your Highness. No, not now. I... Tell him I'm resting. Tell him I... He said to give you this. No. Julia, no. Your Highness. Bring him in. Baron Reimer, Your Highness. Leave us, please. Your Highness, I trust we're not disturbing you. Where did you get this? The ring? Oh, may I present Count von Nyberg, special emissary from your future husband, the Crown Prince of Prussia. Where did you get this ring? 
It was taken from a sneak thief caught in the palace grounds five nights ago. Where is he? Awaiting execution in the Warburg prison. What else? This is a very beautiful ring, Your Highness. But surely, this insignia, isn't this the crest? You know perfectly well whose ring it is. I demand... Demands are not always wise, Your Highness. Not as the mention of certain names. Such indiscretions can lead to war. A truly Prussian answer. But we are here to speak of love, not a war, Your Highness. There's the little matter of your signature on this contract. I will never sign it. Please don't be precipitate, Your Highness. The marriage will cement a happy alliance, and a certain sneak thief will be allowed to leave Mecklenburg alive. You're threatening me. I'm hoping for a reasonable answer. The answer is no. No! Are you sure, Your Highness? How do I know that you will go free? You have my word. Is that all? You have my word also, Your Highness. I have no choice. I will hold this for my crown prince. Captain Hess, Your Excellency. This came by fast courier, Your Excellency, from the border. From the border? No answer. You looked worried, Your Excellency. Not worried, pleased. Your future husband is a very impatient young man, Your Highness. He's on his way here to claim you. This came from the monastery at Baden. Which means that His Highness will be here tonight, say within four hours. Your Highness, I have much to prepare. May I thank you for your gracious cooperation? Get out of here! And never, never come back! Always at your command, Your Highness. Captain Hess, how soon can you arrange an execution? The execution, Count von Nyberg? The execution. The prisoner has to be brought from Warburg. It will take three and a half hours. Use faster horses, make it three. Set the execution for 10 o'clock. It shall be arranged. I said you were ruthless, Count von Nyberg. In love as in war, my dear Baron, there can be no half measures. Success or failure, and the devil take the loser. The trick is not to be on the losing end, Count. Exactly, Baron. Leave those things. They'll only be in the way. Now you know where we meet, Jacopo. It's after nine now, and the execution's set for ten. Yes, it's touch and go. What if this prince should arrive before they're ready to hang Ferdinand? Then we are likely to hang as well. Come on, Rico. Now remember, watch for the crown prince, and warn me if he comes too soon. You know the signal, the call of the peacock, repeated three times. You'll see the princess Helen now. Uh, yes, it's about time she became our ally instead of our enemy. <laughs> You come here. Princess Helene, I must talk to you. You are invading my privacy, Count von Nyberg. Your prince shall hear of this. Shouldn't we call him your prince? I shall tell him that you came here. You would be wasting your breath. He wouldn't know what you're talking about. I would be talking of the Count von Nyberg. But there is no Count von Nyberg here, nor anyone else. Are you joking? One ring has brought you a lot of sorrow tonight. Perhaps this will bring you a ray of hope. That's the crest. From the Count of Monte Cristo, at your service, Your Highness. Please wait outside, Julia. I... I don't understand. The Count von Nyberg was a creation of my own. To gain Baron Reimer's confidence, it succeeded. But what use is that confidence to you now? The Crown Prince is on his way here. What will happen to you? I'm trying not to think about it. Count, I am helpless. I cannot save you. I don't ask you to. I'm here to try to save the Duke of Orleans. To save him? But he's to be set free. It's a condition of the marriage contract. A condition which will not be kept. Your Highness, the Duke of Orleans has served Baron Reimer's purpose. You signed the contract. His execution has been ordered for tonight. Can't be true. How do you know? Because I ordered it myself. Baron Reimer agreed. What sort of game are you playing? First you talked to me of saving him and then... Your Highness, no man can be rescued from the Warbird dungeon. But men have been rescued from the gallows. Yes. 
Yes, it might have worked. But you won't be free. When the Crown Prince arrives, every soldier in Mecklenburg will be on your heels. That's why I'm hoping he doesn't arrive just yet. What time is the execution? Uh, ten o'clock. It's quarter to ten now. Yes, Your Highness. What must I do? You will meet the Prince. Talk with him. Receive him fondly. Once Ferdinand is across the border, send him packing. But I signed the marriage contract. What marriage contract? Thank you, Count. I must go now. Yes, of course. And we must pray that the Crown Prince will be late. But he's here already, Your Highness. Now? How do you know? A peacock told me. There's someone coming. Go quickly. You've already taken too many risks for me. Not for you, Your Highness, but for someone I love as dearly as Ferdinand loves you. Who? The Queen of France, your future mother-in-law. You have my prayers. Thank you. I have hers, too. Not to speak of my own. Come in. Captain Hess, Your Highness. If you may enter. The Crown Prince of Prussia has arrived. Baron Reimer is about to receive him and begs that you should join him. Tell the Baron that I will come immediately, Captain. What now, Edmond? Right now we have to keep an urgent date with a hangman. Come on. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Prussia. Your Highness, this is an unexpected pleasure. Well, forgive me, I trust, Baron. Royal protocol can become sometimes very irksome, particularly when it hedges a man about to marry a beautiful woman. Naturally, naturally, Your Highness. I'm a prince, but I'm also a man. I sent word to Her Highness. She's hastening to meet you. Delightful. Do you think that she will like me? I'm sure she'll be overwhelmed. I hope so. I don't mind telling you that I'm rather nervous. You've no need to be, Highness. Your royal bearing couldn't fail to charm any woman. By the way, shall I inform Count von Nyberg of your arrival? Count von Nyberg? Your emissary, Your Highness. I sent no emissary. Princess Helene. Your Highness, may I present Frederick William, the Crown Prince of Prussia? Her Royal Highness Helene Louise, Crown Princess of Mecklenburg. Welcome to Mecklenburg. We are honored indeed. The honor is mine. I am the most fortunate of men. Your Highness, I must speak to you. Later, Baron, later. May we retire to your own private quarters, please? We have a great deal to discuss. By all means, Frederick. It is my pleasure. Prussian emissary, where is he? I don't know, sir. I assume... You assumed, idiot. The man could be an imposter and here for only one purpose, to try to rescue the Duke. But the Duke is to be hanged at ten o'clock. And by that man. It's nearly ten now. Your Excellency. Hurry, Captain. Get to the palace stable yard. It's your head if these men are not captured. Leave it to me, Excellency. Metzler, here, Metzler. Your Excellency. Send word to the Archbishop. Princess Elaine will be married tonight. By order of the Regent of Mecklenburg. Perform your duty, hangman. Thank you. 
Baron Reimer, Your Highness. Doesn't your regent know when to keep out of the way? Yes, Baron. Your Highness, urgent matters of state dictate that your marriage shall take place tonight. The Archbishop is on his way to the Royal Chapel. Tonight, Baron? What if I refuse? Your Highness, you signed the marriage contract. And I will respect it, if you can produce it. Haven't you got it, Baron? No lie, that Count, that emissary, he, he took it. Isn't that too bad? What is the meaning of this? It means there's been a change of plans, Your Highness. Oh, may I present the Duke of Orleans? Well then, my darling. Ferdinand. Baron, do something. You'll never leave Mecklenburg alive. I've given orders. Orders can be countermanded. By whom? Your Highness? Yes, Count. Prince Frederick, you have one hour in which to leave for the border. But you cannot do this. We are allies. Let Mecklenburg is the ally of France, an agreement which will be sealed by my marriage to the Duke of Orleans. But kindly leave us, Your Highness. Your Highness. Baron Reimer, you are charged with high treason against the crown of Mecklenburg. You will be confined to the Warburg dungeon to await trial. But I am a regent. While I live, I am Mecklenburg. While you live, Baron. You have nothing more to fear, Your Highness. The Queen Mother will be happy to learn that her son has lost his freedom to the loveliest princess in Europe. Colonel! Major! 